channel. Today's video is all about embarkation day. Things you can expect when you're getting on the ship to start your wonderful cruise vacation. I get a lot of questions about how you do this or what happens with that so I just thought I'd try to put it all into one video so everybody can see it all at one time. These are just some things that I've experienced so they're not set in stone, they're not perfect. I cruise Carnival so these are things that I know from the Carnival Cruise Line so if you cruise other cruise lines I'm sure it's probably similar in some type of way but you know don't quote me on that. So embarkation day is the day you actually get onto the ship to start your vacation and that's technically day one of your cruise. So what happens is you, however you're going to get to the cruise port, you get there and the first thing you will do is hand your bags to the porters that are outside. Before you cruise, before you even leave, make sure you check in online to whatever cruise you're going on and you print out your luggage tags and then you put your name on them. They should already have your cabin number on there. And what you can do is tape or staple it to your luggage so that way the people on board know where to deliver your bags. And then when you get to the port, like I said, you hand your bags to the guys that are out there taking them tradition to give us a, a tip some people tip a dollar per bag some people tip two dollars per bag or just a flat rate it's up to you depending on how many bags you have um, the porters don't work for the cruise line they work for the, you know they work for the city or the port or whatever so they do accept tips it's like something nice but you can do that once you get inside um, if you have with carnival if you are a platinum or diamond in their rewards program then you can go to a special area for boarding you get priority boarding so you can arrive at any time and you will get on the ship pretty early and they have like a little waiting area that's separate from the public waiting area i think they might give you some cookies and some juice or something to make you feel nice and special and that's also for those who purchase faster to the fun from carnival and that is something that's like upcharge that you pay for your whole cabin it's not per person and what it does is it gets you a priority boarding onto the ship it gets you the same perks as the platinum or diamond members as far as you can get off the ship faster when you at a port if it's a tender port you can get on the tender boats faster if you have to go to guest services for whatever reason there's a separate line for you to get to so they will come and service you first stuff like that it is an upcharge though that starts at like fifty dollars and then it can go all the way up to ninety dollars i believe depending on the number of days that your cruise is so you have to look online and try to purchase it that way it does fill up fast and then it'll, it'll sell out so they only do a certain number of them per cruise so if that's something that you're interested in you might want to check it like basically as soon as you can check so after that cruise. you would go through the security line and whatever you're carrying onto the ship security will check they'll put it through the conveyor belt and you can bring on one bottle of wine per adult in the there's cabin and each person in the cabin can bring a case of soda also at the security now what they're doing is they're checking your passports and your or your birth certificate and photo ID and that's also where they will take your picture that will be connected to your sailing sign if you're using a passport they actually use your passport picture they have some new gadget where they scan your passport and the picture that you took for your passport pops up so you don't even have to take a ship picture so that's something new that they've been starting to do and then after that they have a registration line but you don't really have to go through that line anymore because now you used to have to go through the line and check in and set up your sale and sign account and all of that and then they would give you your ship card but now they actually put the ship cards outside of your door so only reason to go through the registration line is if you want to set up your credit card for purchases if you use the cash account like we do you don't have to do that once you're done with security you can actually just walk straight onto the ship 
or go in the waiting area until they call for your group or whatever so you don't have to go through the registration line if you do cash or if you set it up online before your cruise keep in mind that they do have check-in times now with carnival so when you check in online into your cruise they will give you the option of picking a boarding time and it's usually within like a half hour span so 11 30 12 12 to 12 30 something like that so you can choose what time you want to get to the ship up until three o'clock because after that if you don't get there before three then they're not going to let you on anyway and you can't come before the time you check in so if you pick uh 12 o'clock but then you think oh i'll just get there at 11 they're going to make you wait outside so think about what time you know realistically that you want to go to the ship so that way you're not waiting around because if you get there early they won't let you on oh, and then so after you're done downstairs you've checked in you've done all that stuff you made it through security now it's time to do what i think is probably the most fun part of boarding day and that's just walking that gangway from outside to get on the ship that is like the most exciting for me you got your bags and you're walking through and you're going up and you're like I'm getting ready right before that one small moment before you step over and now you're officially on the ship like I'm on here y'all not kicking me off now so that's always fun and right before you do that you take a picture they'll have you know a background with the ship and the name so it's always fun to take your boarding your boarding shot and now you're on board and after that if you are platinum or higher or if you have the faster to the fun you can go straight to your cabin because it is supposed to be ready for you when you board if not you have to wait until 1 30 to go into your cabin sometimes they're ready before then but they always have the door shut so they don't want you to walk through they want you to wait until 1 30 so as you're coming on the staff members they will sort of usher you up to the Lido deck because that's where they want everybody to, to go on and grab some lunch and wait some people will bring in their carry-on swimsuits and stuff so they can just go right in the pool or go in the hot tub until their rooms are ready we always go <laughs> straight to guys burger and get a nice burger for lunch and we just we're not in a rush so we just wait until it's time to go to our cabin and um, it's always busy on the Lido deck anyway so you're in line to get some food I read somewhere or I saw somebody's video saying that some of the more popular places like the new pig and anchor or the um, the iguana the taco bar some of those can be really busy after the ship has sailed so once, once you get on board it's best to go and have your lunch there like hurry up and go and do it and that way you get to try it out but you don't have to wait in a crazy long line because on embarkation day it's not that long then they have the muster drill which is mandatory for everyone on the cruise so don't try to not go and hide out or take forever because they're not going to start until everybody is in their designated spot your sailing sign card there will be a station on there it'll tell you which one your station is so you go there you do the mustard drill it probably takes you know 10 15 minutes tops for them to let you know what to do in the case of emergency and all of that they have all the the trained specialists there the staff members that are trained to help you on what you're doing after mustard drill is basically that's all you got to do sail away usually starts depends on what time your ship sails right around four o'clock 4 30 they always have like a sail away party up on Lido deck with the cruise director and the entertainment staff that's always fun to go up and get hyped for you and cruise. there you have it those are my tips on what to expect on embarkation day let me know in the comments below when is your next cruise are you excited for it or will it be your first cruise and you're nervous about what you have to do let me know thank you so much for watching i will see you next time